I know that many of you are deploying your Next.js application to Vercel, and I know that the two teams are working very closely together. So I was very confused when I saw that Next.js behaved locally, even in production, but differently to what I was seeing on Vercel. So I had to look deeper into that problem. So what I did is very simple. I just used instead of text, which type recommended to me as a way to say to the front end what went wrong on the custom sign up process. And um, yes, it was very easy to use because TypeScript already knows this property. And yeah, I was able to check um, if um, the password was pawned um, very simple on the front end. So if I used an insecure password locally, it um, showed me that the password is insecure and um, everything worked fine. But when I deployed it to Vercel, nothing happened. Even though the server gave me the response that um, the account um, were failed to create and uh, that the password has been found in an online data breach. So what happened? What happened was that locally, you can see here the status text, everything is working fine. But um, when I deployed it, it just showed bad request. And that was because um, locally, um, Next.js uses HTTP 1.1. And um, if I deployed it, it uses HTTP version 2. And HTTP version 2 does not support status messages. So what I have to do now is that I have to change um, how I transfer the data. I now have to make my own status text in the body and um, then check on the front end if um, the status text in the body exists and then check for that. Um, because I can't use the inbuilt status text. So yes, that was a small video. I hope I was able to prevent this issue in the future. So always make sure if you're using the route handlers from Next.js that the HTTP functionality you are using are available in HTTP 1.1 and HTTP 2. And yes, see you in the next video. Bye.